Hi, I'm Steve, the Zipline Guy. Zip lines. They've been around for years, attached to tree forts and summer camp adventures. Today, zip lines are longer, faster, and higher. As we travel across the country, designing and operating tours, join us for an authentic and organic look behind the scenes. Overcoming hectic schedules, unusual constraints and hazards, we install tours that allow you to zip away. Well, folks, we're really excited to be here today. We're at Zip McCall, beautiful outdoors, and I have a new friend here I bonded with, Bonnie. She's come up, she wants to do the tour. She had a couple of reservations. I'm gonna let her speak about that, but I'm so glad we got on the phone, connected, and made some accommodations so she and her daughters can participate in today's tour. Check out Bonnie, she's awesome. I'm Bonnie and my daughters and I have been trying to plan a special getaway together and we looked at a lot of different places and then we realized we live right here in beautiful Idaho. Why not just come up to the mountains and spend our time there. One of the things we wanted to do is have an adventure and we started looking at zip line and I had a few reservations because about 19 years ago I suffered an illness that left me with a amputation on both legs and um, although I can walk pretty well with prosthetics I wasn't sure about getting down the mountain and up the mountain and so I called Steve to make reservations but to talk to him about my reservation and he was so kind and uh, assured me that they could make this happen and so my daughters and I are so excited to be able to have this happen today. Uh, we enjoy doing things together. We're pretty adventuresome, but um, I did not want to let something that happened in my life define me. And I, I love being able to get out and do things. This is absolutely beautiful, and what a beautiful day. The sky could not be any bluer, and the trees, it's just a beautiful setting. I, I was talking about that with my daughters on the way up as we drove up. I said, I feel so blessed to live here. This is a beautiful place, and what a better place, what a better thing to do to see the beauty than to, at the top of the mountain. I have had some other adventures. I've gone zip lining once before on a smaller one, and that was why I thought maybe I could do this bigger one. And um, but it, there's always this feeling of of nervousness that uh, wondering if you if, if, if it's really possible. Um, I have had adventures. Um, I jumped out of the airplane once with. Uh, I was hooked, to, you know, what do you call it, tandem with another guy. So that was pretty adventuresome, but it didn't last very long. So I'm hoping that this lasts longer than two minutes. <laughs> I'm with my two daughters, Kara and Amber, and we do try to get away. We have, it's been a long time. They've got, between the two of them, they've got 10 children. And so it seems like somebody was either having a baby or just getting over having a baby. Or, and so it's been a while since we've been able to sneak away. And so this is, we, we've planned on it for a long time. So this is pretty special for us today. Before I called and talked to Steve, I, I wasn't sure if this is something I would be able to do. And so rather than just pass it by, I thought I'm just gonna call him, or I didn't know it was Steve, but I thought I'd just call and tell him what my situation was and see if there's any way that they could make some accommodations to make it a little bit easier. Um, and he just put my, all my fears and concerns aside and I, he assured me that this is something I could do. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. I can't say I don't have some butterflies in my stomach though. I'm at the top of the mountain, really close to the first zip line. And so, um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit nervous but um, I, I'm assured, I've, been, I've been assured that I can do this. <laughs> so if you hear me screaming, you'll know I'm just having a great time. <laughs> one of the concerns that I had is how I would get, after I went from the one zip line and got to the bottom, how would I get hike up to the next zip line? And um, Steve has made it possible for that to happen. 
He said that they had an ATV that they could take me from um, one place to the other, which it, it really eased my fears. And it also will give me a chance to see part of the backcountry that I haven't seen before. So I'm pretty excited. That's part of the journey here. There you have it, folks. Bonnie's done a fantastic job front-loading what the day's events are going to be like. She's out here with her daughters doing adventure, and she has a special needs and a special request, and we are happy to help them out. Now, to complicate matters, as you can see, my staff have to stay a little bit away from them because it's COVID-19 restrictions, and we're doing social distancing. So while my staff are staying in the distance and wearing their masks, it actually kind of helps the day, empowering Bonnie, Tara, and Amber to be a little bit more self-sufficient, which is here the theme of the day. So as they get geared up, we're gonna hop in the ATV and I'm gonna take them up to the start of the first zip line. Now, we were gonna stop at the main entrance, but we thought we'd go a little higher on the hill because it would aid Bonnie in walking down slope. So meanwhile, my staff are at the zip line waiting for them and we realize they've gone missing. So they got a little bit bushwhacking here and all of a sudden, Bonnie's up on her daughter's shoulders. But they find it to the first zip line. Josh and Jaron and Lexi go through the zip commands make sure things ready to go and Bonnie gets her frequent flyer miles. Woohoo, Bonnie! Now it's time for Tara and Amber to get their zip on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go through some lock gates and take the ATV to the other side of the ravine. Meanwhile, they also come up with a unique way to help stabilize their mom on the hiking trails. Having successfully zipped the first three zips, Bonnie now gets her first look at the 2,000 foot zip line. Woohoo! Here she goes! And just like a pro, Bonnie navigates the trails, gets over to zip line five, another 2,000 footer, and gets her zip on. I'm really feeling good about it. I'm feeling good that they're having a good time, they're good spirits. It's a cooler day, but it's hot in the sun. And I'm really happy I rode those guys to get those benches put in, because now Bonnie's really using those benches as break spots along the way. But over that, more than that, I just think they're having a good time. It's a good bonding experience for her and her daughters, Amber and Tara. They're really being good sports about it. And like she said, she's gonna define it. She's not gonna let it hold her back. Oh, hey, look, it rides here. Yeah. Oh, right yes, here. my limousine. Yeah. My limo. See your carriage has for the queen. After catching their breath, it's time to use that harness in a way to help stabilize their mom to get up the trail to the ATV where we've got some cool water and shade awaiting them. I'll start to chat chat with them and hear some of their jokes of the day and boy they're having a good time. But before you know it, I've got to drive them up to the start of the big suspension bridge and that challenge is now their next agenda item. Tara and Amber try to go in front and behind their mom and they take it slow but those gaps in the boards really cause Bonnie some pause. Now, this suspension bridge is challenging enough for an able-bodied person, or more correctly said, anybody else that doesn't have any complications. But this challenge, folks, is also psychological. That bridge starts to go up at the end and turns into a staircase. Go, 
So Bonnie just did it. And I'll admit, I was nervous. I thought she could do it, but it really comes down to the mental aptitude and the, uh, the discipline of the individual's mind and the willpower just to do it. And uh, Bonnie just struggled at it at first, but then she just put one step in front of the other. And now she's 70 feet up in the air on our 12 by 12 decks, enjoying a 270 degree view of the valley below. So I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous. I was hoping she wasn't gonna fall because she would have gotten banged up a little bit in the ropes. Not hurt bad, but it would have, uh, I think, killed her self-esteem to want to keep trying. But she just did like a trooper, no problems, and she made it run up there. That was awesome. Three, two, one. <laughs> and there's the countdown. Bonnie's on her way. The half mile long zip line. Woohoo! No sooner that she gets on the ground, the stories and videos start flying. She can't wait to get in the ATV and start telling me about her day. And to see her excitement and hear the stories, it's awesome. Before that very first one, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do six of these. But it was, hey, once you're off the, once you're on the platform, you just let go and, and go. And it just, each, one just seemed to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, I love the, the length of the number four. Uh, number, all of them, I think it was number five, where I could see the river underneath. Four and five, I think. Um, uh, yes, I felt scared every time. And there were um, a couple places where we had to climb up to, to the ledge. And with the help of my daughters, they enabled me to be able to do that. And so even if people think they can't do this, they've got a team that helps them, it's amazing what you can do. Um, I was really apprehensive about that bridge uh, because I can't feel my feet and I have to be straight over them in order to be balanced at all. I was, I just was scared that, and then I have to look down and see the big space in between those boards, which was really scary. <laughs> but. I thought that I'd, I'd have to have my daughters to, you know, kind of help me with it, but um, I, I was able to make it with the coaching on the way. Oh, <laughs> All the way, I was uh, happy to be at the end of that one. And then the payoff was the view. It was just mm -hmm. a spectacular. Couldn't have been a greater day. We had such a great time. I would recommend this to anybody, whether they ha have some special needs or um, if they just want to have a great time. Uh, let's do it. It's not like it's the first time she's come up with an idea that might sound a little crazy to other people. So we've done a lot of pretty adventurous things together and we don't ever let anyone be left behind. Right. That's yeah. right. We're going to figure it out and there was no doubt that we could do that with the three of us, that we could figure it out. I'm not, I never doubted her um, bravery at all because she's more daring than us all. But to see her on there and zipping and flying through the air was, that was, oh, was awesome. Amazing. We had a challenge getting up to the first one, so we had to work pretty hard for it. And so I think what we said when she went on the first zip and she flew away, we said, freedom! <laughs> and that's why you do everything you do. You work hard and then you, you get the reward later. That's true. And we were rewarded yeah. a lot today. Yeah. I loved the bridge. I loved that part. I thought it was just so fun. and. Um, I just to be up that high and, and step it up at the very end and then the last one to be able to zip all the way down and look over the river and enjoy everything that view and every time my mom came in or Tara came in to see their faces as they came in after each zip was it was awesome you're waiting and waiting you don't see them and then they come through the trees and um, pretty cool I love the speed <laughs> Feel the need Flying for the speed. speed. <laughs> yes, I love that, and I love listening to my mom squill all the way down. I thought that was really fun too. Good. So good, yeah. And the views were awesome. Yeah, I think uh, we talked about it too. Is creating a space where you're going through nature and it surrounds you, rather than nature's just been cut down and we're just taking a zip line 
and everything's right. gone. We love that. We felt like we we're yeah. part of the trees and yeah. part of nature. That was fun. Right. On the platforms, standing <laughs> on six, we had to wait for just a little bit, and I'm so nervous. And then I'm like, I don't know if I can just step off of this. Like it is, your heart pounds a little bit at each one, and that's part of it. It gives you the general right. adrenaline rush. So um, yeah, a little nervous on each platform. Well, I, I'm not scared. <laughs> I, I didn't have any fear, but I think as not. you think about um, special accommodations, I've just kind of realized I'm, great, I'm raising five kids. When it comes to the term special needs, we all have special needs okay. one, one way or another. So any kind of special need, whether it's emotional or physical, this can be done. And at the end, I think the word is empowering. They were great. I mean, they set all the guidelines physically for us, so that wasn't even at the forefront. And then emotionally, we had stops along the way. I think on that longer trail that we hiked, we stopped and they, and they never rushed us. And even on it, you can do it. They never rushed us or they were just encouraging, encouraging and positive. Lex, Lexi especially was yeah, just so really aware good. of our needs and she would run up in front of us to make sure we were safe and then she'd run behind us to make sure we were safe and just, just positive. Yeah. I loved almost always, they always say, we've got you. We've got you hooked in. You're okay. And that, they would say that every time, but those words at the very beginning, I said, we've got you clipped in, you're safe. And I always felt, even though I was scared, I didn't feel like I was not safe because they were there and I felt like they really knew what they were doing. So. Yeah, they're confident and they have a calm presence about them yeah. and I think that makes a big difference. Yeah. But they also don't like to mess around when you want to mess they around. Mess around. <laughs> <laughs> they can take a joke. They've got a great sense of humor, <laughs> but they're serious about their business and their work. Yeah. Doing this with a family, like I think about my kids and my husband who did this yesterday and again, they just, and then to see their grandma do it. So we did all these three generations, right? And this weekend. And um, to see that they did it, their parents did it, their grandparents did it. Um, I just think that was something that bonded them emotionally and connected us as a family. Um, that they, they'll go home and they're, Grandma, tell us which one is your favorite. Yeah. And tell us which, what, what you like about it. And I think that's gonna be a memory that's gonna connect us. I agree, such a bonding experience, I think for families, for friends, so, so you're doing it with, you kind of, you're doing it with them. And so, it made it special. My daughter will talk about the boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she remembered the boys' names that helped her yesterday, so. <laughs> There's always something you can connect on, on every other, whether emotional or. There you go. <laughs> well, All it was right. fun this morning when uh, I yeah. picked you up and my grandson ran out and he said, you're gonna love four. It's a <laughs> My favorite, my very favorite. So tell me about it when you get back. So oh, you're right. It's something that we live together. Well, zip four is right over your shoulder. I oh, yeah. That's what you zip. That was your first 2,000 footer. I loved it. They did love it. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. My advice to anybody is that if they have any doubts or fear that they can't do this, to at least make a phone call and find out if you can do it and then give yourself a chance to try to do something that's beyond, uh, outside of your comfort zone. Because uh, I think that I found, as many people have found, when you push yourself beyond that, there's so much more we can do. And, and I think that pretty much any kind of limitation, somebody could, could do this with, with your help. So my advice to anybody is that if you have any questions about wanting to do this, at least make a phone call. That's where it began with me, and Steve was so great to um, assure me that this could be done. And with my daughter's help and with their help, um, I, I felt like I was, was empowered, but I, be, I do believe that people with any kind of limitations could do this. At least, at least give it a try, push beyond your comfort zone. I really appreciate Zip McCall for helping me, walking me through it, talking me through it, picking me up in the places that could be picked up. It was, um, it just made me feel confident. And the team that we worked with, they were so awesome. Um, just felt like they understood my scare 
and uh, encouraged me to do it. And having done all of them, including the bridge, I feel so empowered. I'm really proud of myself. And we've been talking that this is a memory that we will always have together. It's a pretty special day that we've had. Zip McCall! <laughs> awesome. <laughs>